Hello, I'm Chennabhan Kapoor. I'm going to discuss my solution to the lead code problem for peaks. It's uh, today's daily challenge in lead code. The problem definition is as follows. Uh, there are some n number of buckets, so n is 1000 in this example. And one of them is poisonous and rest of them are filled with just water. But they all look identical. If a pig drinks uh, the poison uh, from a bucket, then it's going to die within 15 minutes. So M is 15 minutes for us. And so in one hour, so one hour is P, which is 60 minutes. So within, within one hour, we need to figure out uh, uh, the bucket that is poisonous uh, using minimum number of peaks. Right? So if you see the relation between M and P, the amount of time a uh, peak takes to die and uh, the total amount of time we have for testing. So uh, that is going to lead to what is called the number of periods. So in this case, there are four periods of 15 minutes each, so which is 60 divided by uh, 15. So that's what actually matters to us, right? So in, in four periods, uh, what is the minimum number of peaks needed to figure out the poisonous bucket? So what? how do we use the peaks here is, in the first stage, whatever the number of picks you use, uh, some of them could die and only the remaining uh, ones can be used in the second stage, right? So that's why you, whatever the number of picks you want to use, you may want to use everything in the first stage and then uh, for the following stages, the number of picks are going to reduce, right? With that in mind, we need to minimize the number of picks, right? So how do we do that? Uh, instead of solving for multiple periods, let's solve for the simplest case of only one period. That means in one shot, we need to figure out uh, the, the poisonous bucket. So how many buckets we can solve? Suppose let's, let's start with the simplest case of you know, just two buckets. Do we need one pig or two pig? It turns out there is only one pig needed. Uh, the way we can do it is we can make that pig drink from B1. So that way, if it does not die, then it's going to be B0. If it dies, then the poisonous bucket is B1. So if we have more than two buckets, I don't think we can do it with uh, just you know one pig. So we're going to use one more pig here. So suppose there are four buckets, and I'm going to do some kind of encoding this way. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. What does it mean is I'm going to make a, a pig P0 drink from B1, B3, and P1 drink from uh, B2, B3. So that way, if neither of them dies, then B0 is the answer. If uh, only P0 dies, then B1 is the poisonous bucket. If uh, only P2, sorry, only P1 dies, then B2 is the bucket. And if both of them die, then only B3 is the poisonous bucket. So with uh, two picks, uh, we figured out the poisonous bucket out of four buckets in one period. So I hope you got the idea already. So suppose we have uh, more buckets, maybe up to uh, eight. So anywhere between five and eight, the answer should be same. Uh, so in this case, we need three picks. Uh, the way we're gonna encode is something like this. So uh, then we are, we're gonna have one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, and then one, 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 right? So wherever there is one, that means the pig is gonna drink from that bucket. Right, so all of them are going to drink from four buckets, but in a in a in a different kind of encoding. So depending on which peaks die, so we can figure out the poisonous bucket here. Suppose if P naught and P two dies, that means one zero one is the pattern we get. So B five is the poisonous bucket. So this encoding is going to help us. That way, um, so uh, the, the how do we figure out uh, how do we generalize this one? So so just for one 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 bucket. So if X is the minimum number of picks we need, so two to the power of X should be greater than or equal to the number of buckets here, right? So in other, in other words, X should be equal to some seal of log of buckets to base two, right? If I take uh, log on both sides, we're gonna, we're gonna get something like this, right? In our example, uh, so we have 1000 buckets. So log of 1000 to base two, uh, seal of that is gonna be 10. So that means we need 10 picks in, in our example, but if it were only one period, but we have more than one periods. Uh, so that's why I think we're gonna need lesser number of picks, right? So let's see how to, how to uh, uh, increase the number of periods and then generalize it. Let's, let's consider only two periods now. What if we have two periods? In that case, the simplest case is gonna be, uh, suppose there are three buckets, B0, B1, B2. In this case, we just need one pig, say P naught, 
to figure out the poisonous bucket we have two stages or two periods what we are going to do is we'll make it drink from b1 but not b0 and b2 so that way if it dies in the, after the first period then b1 is the poisonous bucket if it does not die then it could be either b0 or b2 right so we are going to make it drink from b2 in the second second period so that way if it does not die then b0 is the answer otherwise b2 is the answer so we figured out the poisonous bucket out of three buckets in one period from one p if we have more than three buckets right maybe up to uh, let's say um, nine buckets right so b6 b7 b8 so in this case we need only two picks we have two periods i'm going to encode in the in the similar way let me write that encoding first 101112 2021 and 22 okay what does this encoding means the encoding uh, here means uh, wherever there is one that means in the first period we are going to make uh, the corresponding pig uh, drink from the corresponding bucket so in the first period we are going to make p not drink from b1 b4 and b7 so there are only three of them three buckets to drink from and p1 is going to drink from b3 b4 b5 if both of them die after the first period then b4 is the answer that means b4 is the poisonous bucket but what if only p not dies that means p1 and p p1 is going to survive if p not dies but p1 does not die then it has to be either b1 or uh, b7 because both of them has 1 1 in p not but p1 is either 0 or 2 right so now because p1 survives in the second period we are going to make it drink from b7 so that way will uh, will cover uh, will we'll say whether it is b7 or uh, b1 depending on whether it is uh, is not going to die or die uh, so that, that's how we we figured out for if p not dies what if if p1 dies then the answer is either b3 or uh, where is uh, 2 1 which is b5 so one of these two is going to be the answer so depending on on uh, so we are going to make uh, a p not drink uh, from b5 in the second second period so if it does not die then it is b3 otherwise it is b5 so if both of them does not die then we have four cases which is b not b2 uh, b6 and b8 look at this none of them has one in that it is either zero or two so there are four uh, there are four possibilities so we make uh, p not drink from b2 b8 and p1 drink from b6 and b8 so we already know the idea right with one period with two picks and four buckets we can find the poisonous bucket so we are going to do it that way so that's how with uh, two picks and uh, out of nine buckets we can find the poisonous bucket in two periods right so again you got the idea i guess if i increase the, the number of buckets say from uh, nine to say maybe up to 27 so b0 to b26 is 27 buckets we need just one more pick so we can do this similar kind of encoding so 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 2, 2, and then 1 0, 0, all the way up to at somewhere it's going to be 1 2 2 uh, we are going to have 1 1 1 also at some point and then finally 2 2 2 right so there are 27 buckets and uh, in first stage we are going to make them drink wherever there is one right so depending on uh, which picks die we can figure out so what if all of them die then it's going to be a case of 1 1 1 so because all of them died and there is only one bucket of that sort we know that bucket and then we are going to stop if that is not the case that means we only one pig dies if uh, sorry only there is only one bucket where all the pig uh, can die and what if p naught and p1 dies if p1 p naught p1 dies that means we have one one in p naught p1 but p2 could be either uh, uh, zero or two so one one x kind of scenario x is zero or two so there are two scenarios uh, two cases but p1 p2 is alive so that's going to figure out which of those two is uh, is is the poisonous bucket in the second period so two buckets are covered with uh, p1 p0 and p1 die similarly p0 and p2 die there are two cases like one x one kind of scenario and another two buckets of scenario where x one one scenario so because two of them die and only one of them survives uh, with that surviving pig can figure out the poisonous bucket out of two buckets what if only one of them dies what if only p1 dies in that case it is going to be like a one 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 xx case 
right? What is one XX? That means the first one died, P not died, but P1, uh, P1 and P2 are surviving. So there are four cases, right? Uh, zero, zero to both possibilities. So out of those four, in one stage, P1 and P2 are going to figure out the poisonous bucket. Similarly, uh, X1, X case, there are four buckets. And uh, X, X1 case, there are four buckets. So there are 12 buckets which are covered this way. Right? And what about the case where none of them die? So there are actually eight such buckets. Right? Because each of them, uh, there, is a, there is a zero or two in that case. So none of them die and eight buckets. So if I add up all of these things, there are 27 uh, cases already. So that's so with, with three picks, uh, if there are 27 buckets, uh, we can figure out in two stages, the, the poisonous bucket in two stages, right? But yeah, the, the answer is three for anywhere between 10 to 27, right? Because for nine, we can do it with two picks, but 10, we already need three picks and that can uh, go up to 27. So if you want to generalize this one, three to the power of X should be greater than or equal to number of buckets here. So this is the case where there are two periods. All right. So, and if you want to uh, take log on both sides, X is going to be, we want to minimize for X. So X is going to be uh, uh, seal of uh, log of buckets uh, to base three. Right. And in our case, if uh, uh, log if buckets is 1000, then base three, if you take seal, uh, this is going to be seven. So we need seven picks to figure out in two stages, but we have four periods, right? So look at this. If there is one period, it is base two because there are two possibilities, zero or one. And if there are two periods, there are three possibilities, zero, one, two. And similarly, if there are like, you know, there are so many periods, the periods number of them, then we are going to have uh, periods plus one number of possibilities. So that's how. Uh, say periods uh, plus one uh, to the power of X should be greater than or equal to number of buckets, right? In other words, X is going to be uh, seal of log of buckets to base uh, periods plus one, right? So that should be the answer, right? This is all we need to do. It looks like the answer is just one line code. Uh, we can figure it out. So it's more of a mathematical in nature and using some information theory to, to minimize the number of bits needed to represent something, right? So pick represents a bit here. So it, it essentially is, is the minimum number of bits needed to, to get this job done. All right. So let's see uh, the code. Code should be much simpler now looking at uh, what we have already derived. So let me show you the code. So what I've done here is I, I figured out uh, the number of periods here which is uh, the minutes to test divided by minutes to die. So that's what we figured out in the, in the example, it was 60 divided by 15. And because it's gonna be a, a double value, so I just multiplied with 1.0. Uh, so again, I'm gonna take periods as integer itself. So it's gonna be int. And now uh, I need to find, you know, seal of log of buckets to base, uh, you know, uh, periods plus one. So that's what I'm computing here and it should give the answer, right? So it's a constant time algorithm, uh, assuming all of these log operations, division, everything does is done in constant time. All right. So let me submit and I know it, it's going to accept it, right? This works pretty fast. It's a, it's a constant time algorithm anyway. And that is what is expected out of this problem, it looks like. All right, so let me know if you if you solve it with any other technique. There could be other techniques. I'm not sure this is what uh, you know that occurred to me. Um, and and if you if you like this uh, solution, you know uh, like the video and then subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, keep solving a problem every day. And thanks for watching.